the only way to make a person fly is there have to be multiple ways to fly. We did it with a combination of different things, tuning forks and then real practical, you know, flying with cables. The tuning fork, you know, basically two prongs. They fit either side of your body and you can twist someone backwards or forwards or side to side. Really, you can get a 360 degree movement. But you're clamped into it like you become a piece of the machine itself. And you're working with the, what I think of as puppet masters because they're doing the up and the down and the spin, but your body is dictating whether you're turning left or right and then they have to go with you. And sometimes you all go on a cue and sometimes it goes terribly wrong. When we shot the battle scenes, there were a lot of singles and a lot of individual flying scenes, but there were also a number of occasions where they had upwards of four people flying at once. When you've got the combination of actors, all had different characteristics. You had to remember that even though we were flying them all in the same equipment. It's for us to take the material after it's done and to try to choreograph the animation of the wings to work with the body performance that we have. That was a really important moment I know for Angelina and I know that she invested an enormous amount of time specifically to talk about the way that her wings would perform. The, the final scene of the movie is that in a lot of ways it echoes the final scene from the first movie. Um, the difference being now is that it's not Maleficent flying on her own, it's Maleficent flying with the next generation of Faye.